Vi is a recurring character in Acquisitions Incorporated. I introduced her in my very first episode when I came on as Dungeon Master uh, for Ack Inc. And she is a uh, world hopping artificer who heads up an organization called the Fixers that travels around the multiverse trying to uh, fix problems that other people deem unfixable. Uh, she is a warm-hearted, sassy, chain-smoking uh, do-gooder uh, who has gotten involved with the Acquisitions Incorporated crew and has sort of a business relationship with them. She also has just developed a fondness for them and the hot mess that is them <laughs> and, and their adventures. And she uh, loves helping them fix the problems that so often they get into and honestly that they create. Uh, and I'm excited that she's going to appear uh, in Idol Champions. Uh, the visuals for her are wonderful. There are also some story nuggets about her and the character descriptions. Uh, you'll learn, and we've alluded to this in Ack Inc, uh, that she's originally from the world uh, Eberron, and she is able to hop from one plane to another and one world to another because of an aberrant dragon mark uh, that she has. She hides it. It's on her back. I did in one episode of Ack Inc, I alluded to it when she, she faded into view at one point and they saw this sort of red sigil in the air for a split second. That was actually her aberrant dragon mark and that's what causes her to be a planeswalker. Uh, and she uses that ability to not only try to fix the unfixable, but also actually to sort of redeem her past, uh, because her part of her deep, deep past is she was a part of the engineering crews that made many of the weapons of mass destruction that were used in the last war in Eberron. And she has such deep regret about her involvement in that war that she's now dedicated uh, the years of her life since then to make things better in the multiverse. Vi, in many ways, is a tribute to one of my grandmothers. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, this grandmother uh, was, I thought of her as one of my best friends. She encouraged my love of fantasy. She also was sassy and a chain smoker and from the South. Uh, and so a lot of those elements that I bring to Vi are uh, from my grandma Betty. Uh, and uh, even, even Vi's love often of a shot of whiskey or gin, even that's a nod to my grandma. Uh, so it's wonderful to have not only the character uh, in the game, uh, but in a way this tribute to my grandma uh, in the game. Several of her abilities relate to her, uh, her Eldritch Cannon, uh, which usually takes on the form of a sort of mechanical cockatrice uh, whom she calls Crispy. And <laughs> so, so Crispy shows up and uh, causes havoc. Uh, Vi's uh, homunculus aura also shows up uh, in the game. Uh, and the thing, looking at the art, as well as the game design, as well as the dialogue that's developed for Vi in Idol Champions, the thing that has impressed me most throughout this process is how much the Idol Champions team just gets Vi. Like, I had several early meetings talking through Vi, her personality, and all of that, and they would send things back to me, and I was like, you, you hit the bullseye on you know, your first try. Uh, so I, I really love seeing that like, this character seems uh, to resonate with the team there.